folks, welcome to my channel or welcome back. My name is Kat. I'm a licensed and registered dietitian nutritionist and online nutrition coach. And I'm so excited. Thank you so much if you are a subscriber of this channel. We just hit 1,000. That blows my mind. I know that doesn't seem like a whole lot to a lot of people, but just having like 1,000 people willingly sit and listen to me speak about nutrition things is just mind blowing. I'm really excited about it. So thank you so much if you have subscribed. Today we are talking about something. This was not what I had planned originally, but we are talking about something that was brought to my attention by a viewer who does wish to remain anonymous. You know who you are. I appreciate you bringing this to my attention. This is something that I had no idea that was going on. We are talking about a new intuitive eating course that is being run by one of the top beach body coaches. And y'all, we need to talk about this. to start everything off, this video is 100% my opinion. I will be blurring out the coach's face. I will not be mentioning her name. And I'll also leave her name in like the block section. If anybody types it into the comments, it'll automatically pull that out. I don't want to be a part of any kind of bullying that somebody sees this video and then goes and comments on her stuff. And also, I don't want to give more advertisement to this, ultimately. For everybody's safety, I'm just going to go ahead and blur her face and not mention her name at all. I will be talking about things that I find problematic and at the same time not attacking her particularly. This is something, this is not just her doing it. This is something that I've seen a lot in the health and nutrition fitness industry. In a way, this is almost a really good case study of what is going on broader in the health and wellness industry. So to start things off, I need to give a little bit of backstory. If you watched my last video, you were able to get a little more familiar with the actual framework of intuitive eating. You know that it was a framework originally created in 1995 by two registered dietitians, Elise Resch and Evelyn Triboli, and that it has over 100 studies about its effectiveness on markers of health and in various aspects of health. Unfortunately, a lot of people like taking the name of intuitive eating and putting their own definition on it and then selling that, particularly when they don't have a whole lot of training or any kind of education or certifications or licensure in nutrition. This leads directly to this beach body coach. I doubt that she will ever see this video. I doubt that even if she does see this video that it'll bother her in any way. I don't think she'll lose any sleep or be upset about this. I'm definitely not punching down in this video. Her own personal self-development, her confidence, her positive thinking is like a shield to a video like this. I don't think she's intentionally trying to do any harm or anything. I think she is coming from a place. I like to be positive about people. And so I do believe that she is trying to help people ultimately, but that doesn't mean that we can't talk about some of the more things that I see can be problematic. I just really wanna be clear that this is not a hate video. This is 100% my opinion. And looking at this person's actions and their program, I was like, do I wanna talk about this? Ultimately though, I feel like in the ethics, this is something that I need to talk about. She does have a massive following and so I am a little bit nervous about a lot of like her fans or supporters coming to this and being kind of ruthless. So if you can like this video, I would appreciate that. Okay, so this Beachbody coach has been a coach for a while now and she has been growing a side gig on the side of her side gig of Beachbody. For those who don't know what Beachbody is, it is a nutrition related MLM company. You can follow along their workout videos and you could also do one of their highly problematic diets in my opinion where Shakeology, a superfood shake, is part of the program. I've done a two-part deep dive on Beachbody before on this channel and if you're interested in learning more specifically about Beachbody then definitely check those out. A big thing that I found with their programs is that they are steeped into dieting kind of behaviors that are really unsustainable and that are super weight focused. 
I saw those as not really being in line with supporting a healthy relationship with food and also possibly encouraging people down a slippery slope of being fearful of food, being scared of certain foods, kind of developing disordered eating habits or even orthorexia. It's super focused into eating like clean foods, eating healthy, and fear of other foods that it begins to affect your whole health. We bring it back to that definition of health, that physical, mental, social, and emotional well-being. And so if you are doing a diet that is harming your emotional or your mental well-being in any way, then it's not really healthy. Apparently, I'm not the only one to think this though. And I'm not just talking about the people who have taken a close look at Beachbody programs. I'm talking about the coach that is the main subject of this video. Here's what she has to say about Beachbody. Um, okay, hold on. Ray said, I've been following you for a while and I will watch the replay of videos since I missed them. I had a question though. How do you drown out the diety advice from Beachbody? I do a lot of Beachbody workouts like you and some of the diet talk from uh, trainers is triggering. How do you deal? So that is one thing that I actually should have covered today on mindset work. I think it's, and we dive way deeper um, in this in the course, but I actually think it's really important to protect your peace right now as you're starting on your journey. Now remember, um, like the diet industry is not in and of itself toxic. Like the trainers are not in and of themselves toxic. The diet length, it's not in and of itself. It's the what we're thinking about that is making it that way. But I did have to hide um, some people's stuff. I unfollowed a whole bunch of people uh, that were just showing up in a way that I did, was not making me feel good about myself. So I do think that's really important. You are also giving, who you follow is giving your power. Like you're giving them power. And I think it's really important that you only give your power to people that deserve it and that make you feel good. If you are seeing things that you don't like, you need to unfollow. Or if it's like a friend of yours and you don't want to unfollow them, you can hide them or mute them. I think it's really important. Um, I do now turn the volume down on all the workouts. Even, even some of the trainers are amazing, but I turn them down. I listen to podcasts or something during it usually. So she doesn't think that the dieting industry is toxic. It is purely toxic based on our thoughts around it, which when you have an industry that is profiting and that is making people feel inadequate and profiting off that, it's that's pretty toxic. It doesn't matter what we think of that at that point. That is a toxic thing within the dieting industry. And when you have the dieting industry with this intense focus on aesthetics and the physical part of health, not talking at all about the other aspects of health that are just as equally important, that's pretty toxic. That's not just our opinions or our thoughts around the industry. So as I mentioned, this person is a current Beachbody coach and I personally don't think that it is responsible for somebody to be profiting off a program of a company that they are telling people to turn down the volume and listen to a podcast instead of listening to that trainer talk, which I think can be a little bit like unsafe if that trainer is maybe talking through some part of that workout and that person needs to know what they should be doing, how they should be moving, how it should be feeling. Like they should be able to listen to the program. And so to say that something is toxic or to say that it is something Something that you don't really like or recommend and you're recommending them to listen to it on a low volume or like not at all like how can you still be ethically like how can you still want to profit off of a program like that and be part of a company like that if you find that information problematic to building and supporting a healthy relationship with food and body then you shouldn't be profiting off it in my opinion why even recommend the programs at that point like what is the point so you might be thinking, well, maybe she is distancing herself from Beachbody. Maybe she's thinking about, you know, quitting, which would be awesome. Let's see what she has to say. Okay, so I talked about this. Will you ever offer something aside from Beachbody? Um, yes, but I will always also offer Beachbody. I love Beachbody. Um, but the question is, how can I be a rep for Beachbody that is anti-diet and yet seems to go against everything that Beachbody st stands for? Um, and the way that I can do it, and I actually had a call with the CEO yesterday of the company, talking to him. 
You do it through cognitive dissonance, but let's hear. About areas of improvement that I think we could use. And um, I kind of asked him that, you know, because I get that question a lot. And what I decided is Beachbody did free me from diets. They did allow me to repair my relationship with food. I am incredibly grateful to Beachbody and I don't have to fully align with everything that they say to support them. And I share parts of, um, I share parts of what they offer in my online. And then I also do more coaching around mindset and shifting into anti-diet thinking. Um, but I do think the workouts are incredible and I, um, I do feel like there is a lot of value that they offer. And part of what the reason that I am the way I am today is because of what they did, um, requiring me to work on my mind. And, uh, that I also then pass on to my group. So we do a lot of personal development in my group. So she is not planning on leaving Beachbody. So she is still profiting off the harmful dieting content. Harmful in my opinion again, of course. And in the opinion of her as well, as we have heard. So before her new program, which is the main point of this video, I'm, I promise we are getting there. But before she created that program, she was offering a different kind of online program. And in this program, she would offer additional coaching with the Beachbody product purchases. So here's a little explanation of that and what she offered with that or offers with that, just to try to give you a little bit more of a backstory because I don't want anybody to say that I am making this up or I am reaching, like this is what is going on. What is the cost? So um, it is, uh, there's kind of a huge range. What you get is uh, nutrition guides, meal plans if you want. You get access to my private online community, um, 30 superfood meals, and then weekly mindset makeover calls from me to teach you how to give up dieting. So you're getting those meal plans and then you're getting calls training on how to give up dieting. And um, you can also do the pre and post workout if you prefer. Um, and it ranges between 160 and like 240 depending what you, depending what you want. So um, we kind of go through, oh, and did I mention that you get like thousands of workouts online that you can stream? So it just depends what your goals are, what you're looking for, uh, what product we set you up with, but you'll go to the link in my bio, fill out the application for, um, or maybe it's bootcamp application. I don't know if I've changed the name yet. Fill that out and then my assistant will get back to you. And then once you enroll, you uh, get me, but what is the discount for the product? If you become a coach, you get 25. Okay, so I'm gonna stop there because she's just talking about kind of what is the discount after you become a coach. So the group is to get people in to purchasing either Shakeology or any of the other nutrition supplements from Beachbody and Beachbody On Demand, I'm assuming, since she did mention access to those workouts. Once we join the boot camp, is there an expiration date for the access and is there a monthly payment? So there is no expiration date. Um, I do require a monthly purchase so that you're an active customer. Um, the coaching that I give you guys in there is free. It's included. It's insane. Um, the value I, I feel like I know that that's a humble brag. That's not so humble, but I feel like it's life changing. I so that was kind of a summary of what she offered in the original program. So you have to be an active customer of Beachbody and then you get to be in that group and in that group, she'll give those kind of free training calls. So now we are caught up. Now we're going to hear about the new kind of side gig on the side of Beachbody that she's doing that is not Beachbody related. This was from a couple months back. It was in September. If I join you now, would I have to pay again when you start your new self-love fit club on your own site? 
Um, I'm not sure exactly what that is going to look like um, when I open up life coaching, um, but it'll be a completely separate thing. Uh, so you will have to invest in that. I will still continue to do my weekly coaching calls in, you know, my mindset makeover calls, anti-diet training in my online group. But I'm actually calling my coaching business, my, my life coaching business, something else. And that will be a separate charge. So. so that gives a little bit of insight as to the current program, that life coaching program that she was talking about is the current one that's just starting. So naturally, I was curious as to what would be included in this new life coaching program and she offers a little bit of insight here. Life coaching will be everywhere, but again, that won't be until next year. But the course that I'm creating will be available for anyone and that will have I'm going to put together like modules, videos of me talking about, you know, the anti-diet stuff and training you on that. And I'll talk about how to handle pregnancy, how to handle um, events and holidays. How do you move from dieting to intuitive eating? These are things that I cover in the weekly call that I do in my private group, but I also will create a course. So she specifically says that it'll be moving from dieting to intuitive eating. Let's hear that again. And I'll talk about how to handle pregnancy, how to handle um, events and holidays. How do you move from dieting to intuitive eating? These are things that I cover in the weekly call that I do in my private group, but I also will create a course. So she not only mentioned that she will cover dealing with pregnancy with this nutrition program, but she is also teaching people how to move from dieting to intuitive eating. So when you are making that claim of moving people from dieting to intuitive eating, like there is a framework for intuitive eating, but that is not what this course is about. It's not using that framework, which we'll get into a little bit more later. Maybe she'll change it and add it. I don't know, but I'm just a little curious about the pregnancy and information in particular. She says that she is doing life coaching, a life coaching certification, but I cannot find where that's coming from. Um, what is the certifying body behind that? And I've heard that when people ask her on Instagram, what her certifications are that she'll block people. And I know that she has had children, but just because you have been pregnant doesn't mean you're qualified to give pregnancy nutrition advice. That can actually fall into medical nutrition therapy. So I'd be very careful with that for legal reasons. So you might be asking like, what is wrong with this? Like, why should I worry? Don't I want people to have a healthy relationship with food? And the answer is, yeah, absolutely, I want that. But I just have some concerns around what I see a lot of popular influencers kind of promoting with the kind of disguise of anti-diet and like intuitive eating. We see a lot of like coaches and influencers kind of straddling the line between or straddling like the fence of anti-diet and dieting body positivity with also that kind of dieting framework to make more money to be more popular it is a safer place to be online body positivity came out as a social justice movement back in like the 1960s it grew out of an anti-discrimination movement and was led by black women and LGBT it is so much deeper than just kind of what one might think whenever they're just scrolling those hashtags on Instagram. As a side note, let me know if you want me to, to give like a background, back history on health at every size and kind of the body positivity movement and kind of what the history of it, how it started and where is that now? <laughs> how it's kind of gotten whitewashed. One of the reasons why I say that she is kind of straddling those lines, one example is before and after pictures and these are not from very long ago. These are from October and December of 2020. Actually, I was wrong. These are from November and December of 2020. While she does share that these pictures and, and weight itself is more than just what it looks like, these pictures are still showing the same ideas that like every before and after picture shares, which is that smaller is better and that I can help you to get smaller because at the bottom of her picture, like the last thing that she leaves, her call to action is about joining her group or joining her program. It really doesn't matter 
matter what is sandwiched in between when you have a before and after picture where the first thing people see is a change to a smaller size and the last thing that they read is about joining their specific program. By nature, call to actions on before and after pictures are about getting from that before picture to that after picture. She knows what she is doing. And even in this picture, she talks about clean food. On some days she ate super clean food and you know continued on and she gives kind of the opposite where some days she did not um, but still using terms like clean food is very much steeped into dieting culture and can really lead people to having this kind of dichotomous thinking around nutrition instead of seeing food as neutral instead of seeing food neutrality which is part of intuitive eating I showed the videos of her specifically saying that she is taking people from dieting to intuitive eating and still using terms as of November still using terms like clean food and taking before and after pictures if she was all about diets as long as you're saying that you're doing that then go ahead and do that I am just more concerned about her saying things like anti-diet and intuitive eating while still having these red flags it's just kind of manipulative in my opinion like if you're gonna be about it then be about it but just kind of putting a disguise over it just because it's like trendy not here for it so I was able to get into her free Facebook group where she was offering a three-day like free program it was just an advertisement for this new life coaching 12-week program around intuitive eating and because of the red flags I was curious as to what she was actually teaching how she was breaking down how to go from exactly what she said of dieting to intuitive eating and I found that she was still providing meal plans but also things that just just worked for her and tomorrow today I want to chat with you guys about food <laughs> and your meal plan and kind of principles that I live by that I have found have helped me and I can give you a little bit of a plan um, or, or some guidelines nutrition principles but I'm not going to give you my full plan if you want the full meal plan um, that I offer then you'll have to join the course for that um but just know that my ultimate goal is to get you to not be following anything other than your own intuition other that that is what intuitive eating is and also again like i said yesterday this is what works for me this is all i can teach on but if if this isn't for you that's okay you know don't beat yourself up about that so an intuitive eating course with a meal plan and only sharing what worked for her. I am so glad that she does have a goal of people moving from that kind of meal plan into intuitive eating, but intuitive eating is not just about going off your intuition. I understand the name of it. That's what you would expect, but it's also about your thinking. It's kind of this dynamic interplay of your instinct, but also your emotion and your thoughts the intuition part that's just the framework name but it encompasses so much more than just eating off your intuition and the book talks through all of those principles that's what we went over in that previous video of why intuitive eating doesn't work when it doesn't work most of the time people are putting their own definition on it and not following the principles the framework that was created back in 1995 and has been updated since. Part of being a nutrition provider, nutrition coach, a dietitian, a licensed person within the field of nutrition is being able to adapt things to different people and not just using what worked for you. So this leads into day two of three of the free three-day program and her homework for day two was to make yourself a meal plan, like write down everything that you were planning to eat the following day and the following day you had to stick to it 100% no matter what and this was done in order to help to get you to trust yourself and if you don't then you're a victim of your own schedule apparently this person was asking about specifically that homework on day two and let's just listen how do you plan for your next 24 hours of eating when your days are very unpredictable? I might go to bed thinking I'm home all day with the kids the next day, but then I might end up getting called into the hospital or end up at my parents for dinner. So I, I think that's also giving a bit of your power away there. So if you end up at your parents for dinner, 
and you had something on your protocol, you can bring that food with you, right? Like you've already had that planned. So you just bring the food with you. If you are um, home all day with the kids, uh, or you might, you might get, so if you're getting called into the hospital, maybe you have a, here's a get into the hospital day, here's the protocol of what I'd like to eat that day. Um, and then I have here's if I'm home with the kids. You might have to get a little um, creative, but I think you're also being a victim to your own schedule. And I think it's important you're still taking time for you. That's not intuitive eating. <laughs> you don't have to make a meal plan and follow it 100% in order to learn how to trust yourself. That's that's not in the framework. That's not intuitive eating. That's not part of any kind of program that I would recommend somebody to do. That's not the way to get trust in yourself. And she did later mention that this is only three days. It's not really enough time to like go through all of the changes and really change yourself in that way. And and helping you with your relationship with food. But if that's the case, then why even have this as homework for day two? Someone else asked a question about appropriate nutrition. And I'm concerned for anybody who is creating a nutrition program that doesn't know what appropriate nutrition is. I don't know if I'm reaching here, like give me your thoughts, your opinions, but this, is, this was a question and this was a response. What do we do for keeping appropriate nutrition then if not to keep track of it all? What do you mean? What is appropriate nutrition? What do we do for keeping up? I don't know what that means. Okay. Appropriate nutrition is making sure that you're meeting your needs for energy and also micronutrients. And it's something that we might need to give a little bit of special attention in certain conditions. Do we need to focus heavily on it? No, but you can still address appropriate nutrition and still be within an intuitive eating framework. Gentle nutrition is part of that framework. It is still appropriate to talk about nutrition within the framework. As long as you are well-educated in it, of course. I thought it was really interesting that when somebody asked about what kind of book, if she recommended any kind of book before or like as they were getting started with this program, this was her response. Book to read to get mind ready for this transition or podcast. Is there a book? I really feel like my overarching message is to take your power back in all areas of your life, not just around food. And I'm guessing you are wanting something around food. I do think intuitive eating, a revolutionary guide of something, something, something is a great book. Um, but in my spirit of really being a t the total badass that you are, um, I think Glennon Doyle's Untamed is the best intuitive eating a revolutionary guide of something 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 intuitive eating a revolutionary guide of something 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 somebody asked they don't know like what to eat and they just eat whatever they see and they were asking her about that and let's just listen what else i never oops, i never know what i want to eat is that just i just eat what i see is that unhealthy it it depends how you feel about it how do you feel about that do you like being just eating in the moment like why are you in this group you know like if it's not a problem then it's not a problem it's not a problem. it's not a problem for me but if it's a problem for you then yes that's an unhealthy thing for you that's what intuitive eating is this person never knows what to eat and so when they see something, they just eat it. That's not what intuitive eating is. Where in the framework of intuitive eating does it say that if you don't know what to eat, if you see it, just eat what you see. And whether it's healthy or not just depends on how you feel about it. It's taking the work, co-opting the work of these two registered dietitians who are still creating content. You can't co-op somebody else's work and just say that's what this is when it's not what it is. Now this is the part where she is just continuing to kind of do this Q&A. People are asking her questions and somebody asked a question about vegetables and they're bloating around it. The bloat from veg veggies does it get better. Take some digestive enzymes. It's been many years since I um Yes, Sonia, the homework is going to be in a, in a separate post. 
So she just kind of brushes that off um, and starts talking about something else. But digestive enzymes aren't always appropriate when people are having bloating concerns. Again, she is mentioning something that she did, but that is not how nutrition works. It's not just taking something that worked for you and then just giving out that information. <laughs> so what's the point of this video? Why am I talking about this? You can call me salty. I am a little bit and I think that is okay when you have people, when you know people who have put so much effort into getting a really good education, into working with professionals and getting that supervised practice, into having the experience and helping people with their relationship with food, to see somebody kind of just doing what worked for them and taking the name of intuitive eating and creating a whole nother kind of definition for it is just kind of like, I feel like I'm allowed to be a little bit salty. It's just hard to see somebody co-opting the language of a very important movement and building a program and charging people for it who is not freely advertising their own qualifications other than it worked for me. I'm talking about this because this program sold to over 500 people. We have, uh... 500, I just got, what, 519? 519th order just came in. So 519 of you are ready to lock arms with me and with each other and yourself. At the lowest, this program was selling for like 200 or a little bit more than that. It, like I am putting it at the lowest. 500 orders and then it continued to go up from there. So that means that this beach body coach, if everyone purchased at the lowest amount, which is not the case, at minimum made $100,000. That is why I am talking about this. And once it's done, it's gonna be like right below a thousand, I think like $997. I'm not even gonna mention my own program because I don't want people to use that in the comments of like, oh, you're just so salty for yourself. I want to talk about people who are very well qualified, not just their own personal experience of what worked for them. I want to share information from professionals who are making courses that are actually in alignment with intuitive eating. I wanted to make this video because this person is taking away $100,000 from, not including myself, like we're not talking about me, $100,000 from professionals who have spent years, even decades in this field and ultimately who are not profiting off Beachbody programs and products. Professionals who are not saying that dieting is really not toxic, that it's just our thoughts about it. Professionals who are not recommending you to do specific programs and just put your headphones on and listen to podcasts instead. So if you are looking for a program to help with your relationship with food, to get to a healthier place, again, I am not going to mention my program. I am not going to leave it linked down below for this reason so that nobody comments that. I'm actually gonna share other professionals' programs that I have so much respect for. So I asked some people in a Facebook group that I'm a part of to share their programs and a lot of people did. Many of these are even less expensive than this Beachbody Coaches program. I'm gonna go through these super fast because this is already a long video, but all of their information will be linked down below if you want to check out their programs. The first one is from Rebecca Scritchfield and Glennis Oyston. They both together have 20 years of experience in behavior counseling and medical nutrition therapy. If you have not read Body Kindness, definitely check it out. Rebecca Scritchfield is a leader in the field, and I already know that this program is outstanding. It's going to be amazing. So you can see all the different things that they are offering, 14 video education modules, plus a lot more. Their specific course is focused around diabetes. However, you do not have to have diabetes in order to benefit from this program. People with other metabolic health conditions like hypertension, cholesterol, PCOS may also find this program useful. Next up is another pioneer, Jolie Duffy Dillon. I love listening to her podcast. Her course is a PCOS and food peace course. She's a dietitian, mental health counselor, eating disorder specialist, and PCOS expert. Alyssa Rumsey is another amazing dietitian, and she actually has an intuitive eating crash course, and it comes with a whole lot. She also specializes in intuitive eating, body acceptance, and disordered eating recovery. 
Judith Matz is an LCSW, which stands for Licensed Clinical Social Worker. Clinical social workers serve their clients by showing them how to handle challenging life situations and providing them with resources and counseling them in the process. She has a digital seminar that is three steps to transform your relationship with food and body. Tracy Brown is up next. She is also a dietitian who specializes in eating disorders, hormone health, gut health, and PCOS, and runs the Peaceful Eating Community. Tons of modules here for less as well. Hillary Canavi and Dana Sturdivant have the No More Waiting, the Body Trust eCourse. It is a six-week online course to help you rebuild body trust, rethink what the problem is, and create a path that honors your physical health and emotional well-being. Bianca at Freedom From Food ED Recovery Center in Melbourne is actually about to release an online course, not necessarily for the general public, but definitely something to be aware of if you are a provider here and you want to learn more information about that. It's the basics of what to look for, what they need to know, and how to do no harm when it comes to the messages of dieting culture and wellness. Erica Leon is a certified eating disorders registered dietitian and certified intuitive eating counselor, and she has a program titled Intuitive Eating Essentials for Midlife, Menopause, and Beyond. Dr. Alexis Connison is a licensed psychologist and runs the Anti-Diet Plan, which is a virtual six-week program. It's a weight-inclusive, mindful eating course. Lauren Cadillac is also a registered dietitian and certified intuitive eating counselor and certified personal trainer. She has a group program, a group intuitive eating program, and it just closed, but she does have other services as well, like one-to-one coaching. And I do believe she'll have more group coaching programs in the future. Over at Eating Wisdom, I could not find information about the author, but this person did drop this in that group and they have courses as well. That group is filled with dietitians and therapists and other related professionals, but I couldn't find a whole bunch of information about this. Beth Rosen is a non-diet registered dietitian and has her food and body freedom course. Lots of modules here as well. Her expertise lies in digestive disorders. Jane Taylor, she has also gone through the official intuitive eating training and has the body literacy and intuitive eating unlearning circle. And that begins a cycle next month to when this is being recorded. Mary Lou Morin is a dietitian and also certified intuitive eating counselor and practices from a haze inclusive and trauma informed lens. And she has the eat in harmony method program. Annie Jansen, who's also registered dietitian is running the intuitive eating for fat liberation course that just began. There were also a few licensed master social workers from HungerWise providing nine-week programs. And what you can also do is go to the official intuitive eating website and look at their counselor directory. And you can see everybody who has gone through the official training of intuitive eating. They said they created a standardized training and certification program for professionals to help assure the integrity of the intuitive eating process, which is ultimately the reason why I made this video. I feel like the integrity of intuitive intuitive eating gets called into question a lot of times and it gets so confusing for people and it's just not fair to the creators and to the professionals who are actually utilizing it in a respectful way and not just taking it and doing before and after pictures and still talking about clean eating. I am making this video because I don't want more people to be filtered into the whole beach body scene. I don't want people to have to watch their personal training on mute because there is harmful messaging coming from it. I want to give the respect to clients who are looking for ways of helping their relationship with food. I want to provide them those resources, that information from people who are highly qualified and trained to teach this kind of information. Again, no hate to the Beachbody coach. I just really wish that $100,000 could have been provided or given or shared amongst those professionals who have done so much for this community and who are small businesses who aren't just making $100,000 off a course um, from their own experience. So that's all I have for this video. (laughs) Again, thank you so much for allowing me to get to 1,000 subscribers. That seems wild in my eyes. I really appreciate it. I love creating content and sharing with it and just talking about nutrition and everything that goes on. Some of the shady things that goes on in this field is just really interesting and fun to talk about in my opinion. So thank you so much for watching me and I will see you next time. All right, bye.